The next thing we're going to look at is some basic keyframing. So if we zoom in to our piece of clip that we want to um, work on on our keyframing, you'll see that there's a yellow line that goes right the way through the video from the start to the finish. What we need to do is right click. And at the bottom of our selection, you can see a little selection that says show clip frames. Now you can have image control, which you can adjust the brightness, contrast, the hue and saturation. Then there's motion, which is position, scale, proportions. You can rotate your video, anchor point and anti-flicker filter. And then there's the opacity and clip opacity. Now you'll notice that there's actually a tick next to that because it's set to clip opacity. And what we're going to do is we're going to fade our video in. Now we can do this simply by getting the video, the very first frame of our video. And over here, you'll see some buttons that say add or remove a keyframe. We're going to add a keyframe there. And then we're going to go a couple of seconds in. And then we're going to add another keyframe. Now, all we have to do now is go to our first keyframe that we set and literally drag it down. And now you'll see that there's a, a slope where it gets up to where it's back to normal. But you can see that it's now fading in and out. And we're going to do exactly the same to the end of our piece of video on our title sequence so again we'll zoom right in and we'll get to the very end frame and we'll add a, a keyframe then we will go a bit further in for where we want it to start fading out and we'll add another keyframe then we can grab our first keyframe and literally drag it down to the bottom now if I zoom out slightly and then render our work area and then play our title sequence, it should fade in and then fade out again. And there we go. Now you can move these keyframes, you can move it further in so that it takes longer to fade in take longer to fade out or you can fade out very quickly the choice is yours really whichever whichever way you think is best I'll just render that just so we can see it again our title sequence should fade in there it is and then it fades out again. Okay. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to add some more keyframes to our video as well. Now if I highlight the audio track of our video, I'm going to do exactly the same thing. I'm going to zoom in and I'm going to go to the very first frame. And on our audio, we're going to go show clip frames, volume, clip volume. It's already set to clip volume as a default so what we'll do is we'll add a keyframe then we'll move in a bit more and it's just about where Heather starts to speak I think and then we'll add another keyframe zoom out slightly you can see keyframe one zoom in again and you can see keyframe two so if I zoom out slightly I'm going to drag that first keyframe and pull it right down to the bottom. And this time, Heather's, Heather is going to take some time to speak as it turns out. Hello, my name is Heather and I'm an actress. And I've been acting... Faded in the audio. Let's have a look at the video. What can we do with the video? We go to show clip frames again image control so we could we could go from black and white i'm going to check i'm going to click saturation 
and I'm going to go to the very first frame I'm going to add a keyframe and then I'm going to go much further in and add another keyframe so now you can see one keyframe there and one keyframe there and what we're going to do is we're going to take all the saturation out so that it starts off there's no color whatsoever and then we get to a couple of seconds along and we've gone from black and white into color and that is keyframing our color okay what we'll now do now is we'll change the keyframe we'll go to clip for keyframes and motion and this time we're going to choose scale now you'll see that the yellow line is a slightly different position than the previous one but again there are no clip frames and what we're going to do we're going to start the video off we'll add a keyframe and then we'll go and add another keyframe now this time on this keyframe I'm going to click on my clip and I'm going to make the clip really really small and then I'm going to go to the next one and it's back to full size so it goes from small to full size the important thing is is to add a keyframe to start with and add a keyframe for where you want to finish now you can do this all along your video if you want it's just that it takes time and be prepared to make the odd mistake here and there before you get it quite right that piece of video now needs rendering so now we'll try it and we fade in we fade out Hello, my along. name is Heather and I'm an actress. I've been acting with Joe Dark. And also the sound. The key thing with this, no pun intended, is that you've got to practice and don't be afraid to make mistakes because eventually you'll pick it up and once you've picked it up, you'll be able to keyframe any attribute on your video.